Hi, welcome to this episode of Unlocking Your Heart. My name is Cindy Johnston and I'm your host. This particular series that I'm doing now is Opening Your Heart to His. I think that sounds very Christianese and we could easily overlook that as something that, oh yeah, I've already done that. Or, you know, we do that when we get saved. I I thought all those same things. And um, seven years ago when Jesus began to reveal to me that uh, opening your heart is not something that stays open. We have to keep choosing it because we keep closing the door. I mean, I'm so surprised that I'm always closing the door on him. And some of them are locked. I mean, he, he really gave me a lot of revelations about this. And if you read my book, Heaven's Door, you will see uh, just the progression of how he did this. But, you know, he basically took me to the hallway in my heart and began to show me, you know, one, the doors were locked, and two, the state of these rooms. And clearly he had not been allowed. And so, and I I don't think I'm the only one that um, holds things back and has not fully opened their heart's door. And that's, again, you know, the first thing when I say that, I roll it back into, well, who of us ever really gives everything to Jesus? Or, you know, that's a lot to think we would open our hearts all the way. But until you really go through this and see how he showed me to do this, it's, it, it's hard to imagine that um, this is significant. This, doing this, for, for me, has been, has been as significant as reading scripture. Because I get words straight from him right into my heart that has been totally transforming healing and you know it completely changed my life and not only that but I began to see him in the spirit of course I'm not like he didn't you know come down and sit with me it it looks like it in the spirit but you know I don't see him in the natural with my natural eyes or even hear him with my ears everything's in the spirit so when he gave me Revelations 3.20. He began to teach me how to open my heart store. And I've already done this recording a couple of times, so let me read this scripture just in case this is one. I haven't done that yet. And I forgive me if this is the second time. Revelations 3.20. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. And so this really was a key for me to begin to understand that Jesus was asking that in the Spirit, I would begin to open my heart. And no matter what's there, or or even how much I don't want him in certain places. And so I began to practice that. He began to, it was hilarious, the things that I... I uh, thought when he first was teaching me because I was so childlike in it all and um, totally clueless but I could feel him come in my heart I mean when he first began I'm just gonna be honest I thought he was like putting a a flute or a um, you know it looked more like an oboe in my mind you know how they're kind of long and or um, I'm trying to think of all the different ones that have the little long throat that and then the little bell shape at the end but anyway it felt like he was putting that in my heart and playing music because I would feel this fluttery beautiful thing in me when he would come in I I totally didn't get it I'm just telling you it's because he didn't I didn't make this get the scripture till much later but he would talk to me and he was trying to instruct me how I needed to open my heart to him and I would picture it at first I kind of was a little violent about it and it's so funny because I heard um, another 
preacher talking about when he pictures it because he does this he has these encounters too and he he says he reaches in he pulls his rib cages you know rib cage apart in the spirit realm you know he's thinking in the spirit and he's pulling it apart so he can open his heart for Jesus and I did that for a while and Jesus just kind of said you know let's let's get a softer more gentle <laughs> imaging going on for you and um, so then I started picturing a flower opening and I do that I see my heart as a flower and I see him as the Sun and I open and I kid you not when I open to him he comes in and when he comes in it is just glorious I, I don't know good words to describe it but it it's like nothing like I said at first it felt like he was playing music because it bubbled up and it it um, it kind of did this burst of of, of joy and goodness and so over time I began to understand that he was doing this in my heart it all started in my heart and then he took me to this Revelation 320 passage and he began to show me when I got saved my heart came and connected with his and you know he even gave me the picture of a hotel room where there's two adjacent rooms and they share a threshold the door a doorway and they both have a door that's locked and you have to open both doors to go back and forth through there but his door is open it, he opened his when he died on the cross you know when the veil was ripped but now he's knocking on ours and yes it's salvation for a time we opened it but I don't know about you but I'm I, I'm not always very open to him or really anybody I, you know I kind of keep my heart guarded and um, so he showed me how that on a daily basis we've got to open the door and let him come in and and I do that every day now and I feel it I it's not something I just imagine it's something that really happens and that's why I think it's so essential that we begin to understand this is something that he is desiring from us all now how all of it plays off for you I don't know but for me when I open the door and I begin to see through uh, through his heart through our hearts connected I can see in the spirit realm and so then I do see him and um, you know he seems like he's here with me and so that has been absolutely transforming because he also showed me how to then go up with him and I experienced the heavenly realm as well so this is where I want to begin is um, that we begin to understand that our hearts really are a place of connection in the spirit realm it's the place where the the Holy Spirit resides and and it's the place where revelations come and I've had times where revelations and even jokes that Jesus has told me that I don't even hear in the in my natural mind and I'll just be laughing my head off knowing that he just told me a hilarious joke but it went spirit to spirit heart to heart it, it bypassed my brain and it went right to my heart and my brain never got understanding of it and uh, sometimes I'll get the understanding but it's pretty amazing that our hearts can communicate through symbolisms metaphors allegories and even unspoken uh, deep connections that there are no words and um, so I, I just wanted to start off with a simple explanation of what I'm going to be uh, talking about for I, I don't know if it'll be a week or if I'll how I'll uh, release it but I know I'm doing probably five to seven of these on unlocking our heart um, and, and um, to Jesus and opening that door so finally let me just uh, before we run out of time um, do the prayer and when I ask you to do prayer you may want to pause uh, the um, 
the recording and just take time to kind of focus because our heart really is the center and Jesus comes and he takes his place there and we have to quiet our heart and we have to take time to treasure him in our heart and there's just kind of a mental uh, process you go through that makes your heart ready and you open it to him and you know he may give you a different picture me it's the flower but he may give you something else so here's the prayer that I want you to pray as you just turn your face up to him and you open you know think of your heart and open it up and here's this prayer Jesus teach me how to open my heart's door to you I want to meet with you face to face in your kingdom as we commune in your spirit realm amen in Jesus name amen so um, I'm gonna keep these short and so I'm going to end here, but I really uh, hope to be back soon with another one. And um, just bless you guys. Thank you for all your support. And let me know if you like it and anything in particular that you'd like to hear about. So thank you so much, and I will be back soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>